grade, it's Mrs. Reeves. I wanted to show you my compost really quick. So you've been learning about compost with worms. My compost is a little bit different. This is not a worm compost. This is called a heat compost. That means that you put a good amount of dries and wet in there and it will start to break it down. And actually, if you stick your hand in there, so I can stick my hand in there like that, it feels warm inside. That's a sign that it's breaking down and decomposing because you can feel the heat. So my Elijah right now is helping to clean out the chicken coop and he's putting some dries in there. So this is hay from my chicken coop that they're done with. So that can go in there. But then I also have my kitchen compost. That's the wet stuff from the compost. Bless you. And the wet stuff for the compost, that's the stuff that's pretty stinky. I have banana peels in there. There's a paper towel in there for dry. There's an apple core and there's eggshells and there's orange peels. I don't know if you can see that. But that's our, our wet stuff. So you have to have an equal amount of wet stuff and dry stuff. Because if you have too much of one or the other, it won't break down and you can get bugs and the balance is all off. So those are called carbon parts and nitrogen parts and you have to have even parts. So some dry stuff that you could put in would be like dried grass or dried leaves. You could put in, um, dry, you could put in some sticks some paper towels. You can even put lint from the dryer in there. And then for wet stuff, you can put in all different kinds of fruit peels and stuff like that. So um, my helper over here is um, sweeping out the chicken coop for the hay that they don't need anymore and he's putting it in there. I also put the chicken um, droppings in there and I'll show you that in a second. So this side of my compost, this is called a dual chamber compost. That means it has two sides. It has one side that's full and it's working on decomposition. So we're not adding anything to that side right now. That side's closed. And then this side is the side that we're adding to right now. So this is the side that Elijah was just putting the stuff in. This side is full. So it's just working on breaking down. I don't know if you can see that, but that's all the stuff that's working on breaking down. The other really important thing that a compost needs for decomposition is air. And if everything just kind of sits on top of it, then the air can't get through it. So our compost has a little trick. You wanna help me, Elijah? You wanna help me spin it? So our compost has a little trick. You can spin it and it turns and it's pretty heavy. So then it kind of turns itself and that slips everything around so that air can get through there. Now you're learning about worm composts. Those are a little different. Those don't need to be flipped or turned because the worms make tunnels all throughout it and the tunnels let the air through. So if you're working with a worm compost, it doesn't need to be turned or spun. But when you have this kind of compost, you have to turn it to make sure the air is getting through there. So here you have a really good look at all the stuff that's working on breaking down down there. And that's our side that's done that we're not adding to, dual chamber. And then on this side, we have all the stuff that Elijah's adding to. And I'm noticing that that side has a lot of dries and it needs some more wet. So I'm gonna put my kitchen scraps in that side. Hey guys, so I wanted to introduce you to my chickens because my chickens are part of the reason that I got the compost because I was so interested in composting their waste so that I wouldn't have to throw it away. So these are my chickens. These are mealworms. They're their favorite. And when I call them, they usually come so that they can get their treats. And this is a chicken table, which is just a fun way to let them have their treats. And guess who gave me this chicken table? Mrs. Dematsis. She is a Reeves chicken supporter. <laughs> Watching the chickens dust bathe is one of my favorite things. So I know it may look like they're getting dirty, but they're actually getting clean. So there's sand down at the bottom of their coop. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's our rooster. And they kick the dust up and I put also some stuff in there that's good powder for them, for their skin. So I wanna give you a quick tour of my chicken coop um, just to include some of that in the learning today too. So this is the coop and this is the area where they lay. So when they have eggs, they're in there. This is the hay since I just showed you that Elijah was scooping out the old hay. This is a new mat of hay that I'll put in there. And this is an egg that I got today. Um, and that hay will go in there. 
And then of course, chickens, like all animals, poop. But did you know that manure is a great source of nutrients, right? So manure can be used to um, use as fertilizer to grow things. So by putting manure into my compost, I'm gonna have nice rich soil once that breaks down. And then that soil, when I put it in my garden, will have been fertilized. If you open this back part of the chicken coop here, these are called their roosting bars. So that is where they like to spend a lot of their time. Um, chickens and you know most birds, they have an instinct to put their claw over something. So that has bars there. And then here is a slide out tray. So that is chicken poop and a lot of it. They do like to poop. Um, and that actually does need to be cleaned out. Um, and so that will all go with the newspaper and all into the compost bin. Um, and then it'll look like how you saw it before where it kind of um, really does start to break down. So that is a tour of Mrs. Reeves, her chickens, and her compost bin. Have a great day.